Oh, thank you a lot of Lida. Ladies and gentlemen, we wanted, we wanted a really special act this year. I wanted you to be able to sing. I wanted you to be able to dance. I've been asked a million times who it is. I've said you'll know every word. It's a big act. It's a special act. And as a matter of fact, it's such so special, they bring their own MC with them. Could I please welcome to the stage? Come around, sit down, make yourself at home, stick your feet up and watch the show. Half a drop, don't stop, take the lock off your wallet and let the money flow. I get crazy, get lazy, don't think it all, let me hang up your every word. If you resist, start twisting till all the numbers and colors start to blur. G'day, my name's Marty Ma, I'm the festival director of the Aries and Lap Open Mic Music Festival. We're about to kick off our 2016 festival, which is our ninth festival. We've got three days of great music on nine stages and 140 performances. We're looking forward to a great weekend. Our festival is quite unique in the calendar in that it caters for the largest music demographic in the world and that is people who are playing music for the love of it. We've got large band stages, we've got intimate cafe stages and we've got everything from heavy rock to acoustic to jazz. The town is flooded with musicians and festival goers for the whole weekend. We attract all genres and all styles and we have something for everyone. One of the aims of our festival is really focusing on creating pathways for aspiring artists. So we deliberately go about trying to give these people and these acts stage time. Also, we've brought in outside help through Music Victoria to have a development panel um, to give aspiring artists a chance to learn at the festival as well as play. On the development panel this year, we've got some big names coming. We've got Ella Hooper from Killing Heidi. We've got Tim Henwood from Rogue Traders. We've got an artist manager and also a music publisher. One of the outcomes of our focus on aspiring talent is that in our town we've never had more people playing music of all ages and it's not only our town, it's the general Surf Coast community. This is a great festival for that demographic to come and play and aspire to greater things and learn along the way. One of the much loved features of our festival is the outside broadcasts that happens on the Sunday of the festival through Pulse FM in Geelong. The artists love it, they get the experience of playing to air and it brings the world to our festival through the World Wide Web. We call our festival a music making festival rather than a money making festival. It's actually free to attend, but we have donation buckets and we have a policy of pay what you think it's worth. So we have a donation bucket on each stage and we ask you to support the festival and people do. A very unique feature of our festival is that we have a closing act, but instead of announcing who it is, we have a special mystery guest. So you've got to be here to see it. We've had some great special mystery guests in the past. We've had Dan Sultan, we've had Colin Hay, we've had Tim Rogers, we've had Mark Seymour last year, the Hoodoo Gurus, and we're real excited about this year's act. Could I please welcome to the stage, Mr. Brian Nankervis, the Rock Queens Orchestra. of champions and you're looking at me like I'm from outer space. <laughs> So if you couldn't make this year's festival, please look on our website, ariesinlet.com.au and get ready to come to our 2017 festival, which will be our 10th festival and be our biggest ever.